Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a slope curtain wall. So in this case I will create a curtain wall that will slope a bit inwards going from the ground floor until the first floor. First I'll just delete this and then go to the ground floor and then just to draw the shape of the ground floor I will go to architecture, select component and model in place. And in here I will select the mass and then click OK. Just say OK to the name. Select the rectangle to draw the shape of uh, the ground floor. Just draw it like this. And now we'll just set the level to the first floor and then draw the shape of the first floor. And I'll just draw it the same shape and then go to the first floor just to edit the size. And I want this wall to slope a bit inwards, so I will select it and just move it, let's say, um, 500 millimeters from the edge of the ground floor, like this, and go to the 3D view, and now select the two shapes, and select create form, and in here I will select the solid form, and we can now see that um, this wall is looking a bit inwards, so this uh, looks quite okay. Okay, so I will just say finish mass. And now to add the brick walls, I will go to architecture, select wall, and in here I will select wall by face. And now we'll just pick on the different walls, and now we have created the shape for the external walls. And I will just select the model in place and I can just delete it and the next step is to create an opening within this uh, gable wall where I want to place the curtain wall so I'll just go to the ground floor and I will go to the architecture menu select component and place a component and in the via template we have um, the opening with end caps which we can uh, select and now I'll just select it more or less in the middle. Let's say something like this. And in properties I can edit the, the width of the opening. Let's say I want it to be uh, 6000. And also I want the curtain wall to go all the way to the first floor. So I'll just type in uh, 3000 and click apply. Let's try to do it again. Select the opening, type in 6000, and the height should be uh, 3000, and click apply. Here we go, and then go to the 3D view, and now we can see that we have created the opening, so it looks quite good. Then I will go back to the ground floor, and now I will create another mass with the model in place. So I'll go to architecture, select component and model in place. And I will select the mass and click OK and OK to the name. Select the rectangle and then I will just um, click on, on the opening and we can see that um, the width is 6000 millimeters, so this is OK. And again, just change it to the first floor. Just click on the same spot and we can go to the first floor just to edit the offset. So just select it and then move it 500, millim 500 millimeters backwards. Like this. Go to the 3D view. And now select uh, the two shapes. Click on uh, create form. And we want to create a solid form. And it looks okay, so say finish mass. And then the next step is to go to the architecture menu. 
and we want to create a curtain system. Let's just save the project. And then we will click on the wall and then click on create system. And now we have a sloped curtain wall. And if we select it, we can always add the mullions, click on it and then all grids and just click on the wall. And now we have um, a slope curtain wall. And if we select this part right here, not the opening. Yeah, the curtain system, we can always uh, edit the size. Um, let's just go to edit type and in here we can uh, make a duplicate. Let's just call it 500 by 500, click OK and just change the dimension of the spacings to 500 and then we just need to uh, add the mullions for the new curtain wall select all grid, grid lines, click here and now we have the uh, mullions for all of the parts